Welcome. This is from 2 Mathematics and the topic today is linear inequalities. The question we have right here reads form inequalities that satisfy the following graphs. So the first graph is as shown. So here the first thing we have to determine is the equation of this line right here. So the first approach that I'm going to take would make it a little bit easier but though it may sound crude but it works very well so the first thing is look at the y-intercept and the x-intercept so for the y-intercept we have positive 2 so take 2 and multiply by x so the x-axis here represents variable x so that that should give us positive 2x. And then we also take the x-intercept and multiply by y. So the y-axis should represent uh, the y variables so that that should give us 3y. So on the left hand side we have 2x plus 3y and on the right hand side we will have the value of the x-intercept multiplied by the value of the y-intercept so that should give us 2 times 3 and that is 6 so we equate it to positive 6 so once you've gotten that, remember there's a side of the line that has been shaded. This equation here represents this line right up here. So because we're interested in inequalities, so we'll replace the equation with an inequality. So the equal sign must be replaced by an inequality. So the next thing we will have the values as follows. So we have on the left hand side, we've had 2x plus 3y. And then on the right hand side, we have 6. So we want to do comparison here. Now, look at how the shading has been done. The side that is usually shaded is the unwanted side. So we will try to pick a point, let's say, from the wanted region. So on the wanted region, we have so many points. So you pick a feasible point, like point 00, zero that is the origin, or point 11, conspicuously on the wanted side. So my favorite point is usually the origin, if at all the line doesn't pass through the origin. So we'll pick point 00, zero. so take... 0, 0, where x is 0 and y is also 0. So replacing the x and y here with the value 0, 0 for the point. So we'll have 2 by 0 plus 3 by 0. So on the left hand side we have 0 in the end. But the right hand side still remains 6. It's a constant. So we have on the left hand side 0. The right hand side is zero so zero and six relating that zero is less than six but we also need to consider whether the line is broken or continuous so for this case the line is continuous so if it is continuous you add or equal to so finally we will have the inequality required as 2x plus 3y but in place of the equal sign now we have the inequality which is right down here and that is less than or equal to 6 sorry the 6 is not coming out well 6 so that's it for that and uh, the other way of which uh, is very common is to determine the gradient 
of this line. So alternatively, we will have to determine the gradient of the line. And the gradient is usually given by change in y all over change in x. So first of all, uh, we have two points on the line. And the line we have at the y-intercept, we have point 0, 02. And at the x-intercept, we have point 3, 0. So the gradient becomes change in y over change in x. So that is 2 minus 0 all over 0 minus 3. And that should give us negative 2 over 3. So with the gradient, the next thing, let me write down here. With the gradient, we can now have uh, one of the points, of which one of the points you can decide on this or that. So let me pick 3, 0. And an arbitrary point x, y plus the gradient, which you found to be negative 2 over 3, so that the equation of the line becomes a change in y over change in x, so that is y minus 0 over x minus 3 should be negative 2 over 3, and then now we cross multiply. So, When you cross multiply, when you cross multiply, we will have 3 by y, so that gives us 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. So, negative 2x, we can have it on the other side, so let it, let it cross to the other side, so that we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. So once we have this equation right here, the next thing is to replace the equal sign with an inequality. So from there we proceed on as we had done earlier on. Otherwise, that is it for this question. I hope you have gained something. Thanks for watching and see you next time.